Hey everyone, it's Jeremy here with uh, Us Plus 7. Joni, she's uh, dropping Holly off at work and she's coming, but I figured while we're waiting on her, I could get, go through a little bit of our uh, pig feeder that we're building. Um, I've had the shop. Um, I, I drew this up on, uh, on paper and sent it off to the shop for them to be able to start bending and fabricating. And then we just went step by step, kind of through the, uh, the whole design. So, it's 10 feet long. It has a total of uh, 16 spaces, I think. Yeah, 16, 16 spaces. So eight on this side, eight on the other. So there'll be plenty of uh, plenty of room for them to be able to eat. They won't all eat at the same time because this is going to be, you know, we'll fill this up. And I'm not sure how long it will last. I'm not even sure how much I can get in there. But once we uh, we have a big shipment of uh, feed coming on monday um, non-gmo uh, feed that we'll be filling it up so we'll fill it up with the tote i'm not sure if uh, if the whole tote will go in this or not but hopefully that should last us for you know maybe 10 or 15 days with the pigs and and then i'll just be gauging it measuring it as we go but um, so what we did is uh, i'll just show you we made the top pieces here in a couple of in three sections so that it'd just be easier to handle uh, like i said it is 10 feet long and so we had put in a stiffener piece here in the center so that they'll overlap they'll overlap on this and then any water that goes in the joints as you'll see down here comes in the joint that it gets out over the edge and doesn't run inside um, so I just noticed now that we just riveted this on the inside, but it would be better if it was on the outside because any water that does get in here, then it would flow over. So we may change, we'll probably change that there out. Um, I put a stiffener angle uh, in on the inside to be able to stiffen up the edges this way because that's just sheet metal. And then we put in some um, 16 inch deep uh, Z-bar that we can, uh, you can see from the inside. You know, you know you'd be able to shine it or uh, put the camera up here in a second be able to see but there's a stiffener that goes every two feet uh, down along along this so we'll fill up the different compartments down here you can see that stiffener or that z-bar we extended it down and we put a slope piece on in the center that that v's out it allows the feed to be able to go to both sides um, and then these dividers, we just rounded this over so that the pigs wouldn't, uh, you know, cut themselves or something on it. Um, then the bottom pan, you know, goes all the way across the whole thing. And then we put in these dividers here for the covers. So the covers go on like this. There's a hinge, piano hinge that we're putting on here like this, that gets fastened on. And then the pigs will come over and with their snout, they'll pick up on this, eat, feed, and then when they, once they back out, it drops down and it keeps the, the feed dry. So you may say, you know, there's a hinge on here, the water's gonna come, but we're gonna try this as a solution. Termination bar that's used for, uh, you know, um, I, I guess it could be used for a number of things, but most commonly in our, in our uh, uh, construction we use it for terminating uh, EPDM at a parapet or at a you know the edge of a wall or something um, so this piece of e uh, termination bar is going to go at the top and then this piece of uh, I don't know maybe a 10 inch um, 8 or 10 inch EPDM is going to be laid out here, this termination bar over it, fastens it, so then any water coming down is gonna shed over top of it. This here will be over top of the, uh, the hinge, and then that should shed water out over the door. And that you can see here on these divider pieces, we hemmed both sides, but we turned it upside down so that the water's gonna track inside of this and then out. So when you put your door on here, there's gonna be a little bit of separation but the water that does come out will run down this track and then out. So this is going to make it so that, uh, you know, I'm trying to, trying to set everything up so that uh, it's, you know, it's kind of self-sufficient. Once we get the feed in, it'll be a number of days. Same thing with water. You know, we'll be able to put the water in. It's just going to be coming out, checking on them, making sure that they're, uh, you know, that they're all doing well. 
Um, and uh, yeah, so it'd be minimal, minimal work. One thing that uh, by adding this here too, that, you know, the pigs on the other side before they just had this shelter, which we, we had just put together at the shop. So it's a pallet on the bot on the top pallet on the bottom and then pallets on the sides. And then we just wrapped it with some steel that was left over from projects. So this is all just reclaimed material. Um, you know, pallets that were shipped to us. It's good material. We just cut it down, shaped it, put the uh, steel on, and then that gives them a good protection, but it's still not enough for those really hot days that are coming. So with having the, the feeder right here and the shelter here, then my plan is to be able to run a tarp over this and connect these two together. So it gives them a good shade area between here and here, it keeps them out of the sun so they're not getting sunburnt because right now is, uh, you know, it's June, so we haven't had really hot weather yet, but that hot weather's coming, so. And we're gonna need that for the next uh, three, three paddocks after this. And then after that, they'll be going over into the wood section, which they won't, and they'll be, lar they'll be bigger. So they won't need the uh, shelter. That shelter will just be for this section, but the feeder will, will follow them around, so. Yeah, don't, it's, uh, we're really excited to get that here, because that's gonna save uh, a lot of chore time, so. To get, to get the water to the pigs, we don't have anything set up right now. We did get a well, a well put in, as I had mentioned in previous videos. Uh, but we have to get some solar panels and a pump that will run off the solar and everything because we don't have any power here. But temporary, uh, I have another one of these uh, plastic totes um, that I'm just currently filling up with water. And then I bring it over and fill up the, uh, the different feeders, whether it's for the chickens or the pigs or the cows as well. So we're doing it that way with the tractor. But here I just purchased some of the, uh, the pig nipples and they put three of them into the 45 gallons. So they always have a source of water and then they'll just come over and they pull down on that. Uh, this one here is not very hungry or thirsty right now, but so they'll pull down, there he goes, pull down on it. But one thing I find with this is that you know they're pretty smart they'll end up pouring out or holding that nipple longer allowing the water to run out and then that gives them something to play and mud up in so then they get it rooting around so anyway my plan is to go from that over to this here tote so here i plan on connecting a platform connecting a platform to it here that's large enough for them to be able to stand up on top of it and then cutting out this bar here. And I've seen some other ones done. Uh, I got this idea off of uh, watching a YouTube video and I don't remember the, the, the YouTuber. Um, I think there's a few of them, but so we're cutting the toad out here in this opening that allows the pig to be able to put their head through and then we'll, we'll put a float on the inside. So the water line will come in from the top and then there'll be a float down here in the bottom, uh, closer to the back. And that float will be set so it brings the water up to maybe here. And then the pig will stand on the platform, stick their head in, and then they'll drink. So it, it keeps all the water, everything in there. You know, we might have to tip it over and wash it out once in a while because I'm sure it'll get dirty. Um, but it keeps the water inside and it's not allowing it to drip out on the ground like what the, uh, what, like what that barrel does with the, with the nipples. So, we're excited to get this going because once we have this going, my intention right now until, even until I get the, uh, the well set up, would be able to move this around. I'll have a garden hose that will run down the alleyway here of the, uh, the pig section. And then I'll have another one of these totes up on the hill that will just be filled up with water. And then that through the garden hose will come and, and fill up this in their sections. So, you know, it'll probably be, you know, maybe that will last for a week versus right now just a couple of days with that 45 gallon um, drum. So that's another project that we have is to set that up, which we'll probably do in the next couple of weeks as soon as we have time.
What's the plan for today? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Ari's birthday, birthday party. <laughs> They're gonna be here soon. They're freaks. Tell them what you're having for supper. Dixie Leaf. Ah. She requested Dixie Leaf for supper. Right? It was steak. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that picky over there! Why do they have so much? How old are you? Seven. <laughs> the big seven. <laughs> Pretty much all the tools you just start up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, Brad's son. <laughs> 